up what was going on while simultaneously telling people, telling families that it was safe to be outside, that it was safe to be interacting with other people while you were testing positive. That's just a slice of a fiery 11-minute rant by one Democratic state lawmaker. And Peggy, he's accusing at least some Republicans in the state legislature and the General Assembly of covering up a coronavirus case on one of their own. Yes, he is, David, and he is not the only lawmaker upset about this. Channel 11's Rick Earl leaves our Team 11 coverage at 5. He spoke with a top local lawmaker who says people who kept silent about this put a lot of others at risk. Tonight, some state House Democratic members are calling on the Speaker of the House to resign. They're also asking the Attorney General to launch an investigation. But I never, ever, ever knew the Republican leadership of this state would put so many of us at risk for partisanship to cover up a lie. An 11 minute that rant on Facebook by Democratic State Representative Brian Sims of Philadelphia, blasting House Republicans, accusing them of failing to alert Democratic lawmakers that Republican Representative Andrew Lewis of Dauphin County had tested positive for COVID-19 on May 20th. Lewis had last been at the Capitol on May 14th, seen speaking on the floor in this picture with a mask around his neck. Sims said he was upset because he had donated a kidney in January. I didn't donate my kidney to save somebody's life so that I could die at the hands of Republicans who are being callous liars. Lewis also took to Facebook and said he notified everyone he had contact with and stayed home after he got sick. He said he didn't go public sooner because of privacy concerns. I have not had a public schedule and I've only had interactions with a few people. I think that those people deserved a little window of time to get tested, do their isolation and those types of things. Um, there are a lot of HIPAA laws and privacy laws that need to be um, protected. But House Democratic leader Frank Dermody of Allegheny County says Republicans who have repeatedly called on the governor to loosen restrictions and reopen the state should have alerted everyone. And he says he will now introduce a resolution requiring masks and temperature checks at the Capitol. I think that the, the public health issue and the workplace safety issue should trump those. And, and I wasn't asking for names. I was just asking you know, what committees were involved, what, what meetings were involved. And some Democratic lawmakers told me they also spoke with the health secretary and she had no idea about the positive test. And she said she was surprised because her department should have been doing the contact tracing. Rick Earl, Channel 11 News. All right, Rick, thank you very much. And it's not exactly clear how many lawmakers knew about the positive case. Channel 11 News reached out to the Speaker of the House, Mike Terzai, and we have not yet heard back.